Moffitt's growth into a national leader in cancer care and research wouldn't be possible without all the contributions of individuals, businesses, our colleagues on the state level, legislator, and the federal level as well. And we owe some of, a lot of this to strong support from the government, the city of Tampa, Hillsborough County, as well as the state of Florida. I'd also like to recognize Moffitt's participation in the Innovation Alliance, a partnership focusing on branding and economic development in the north part of Tampa with USF, Florida Hospital, and others. And what we're doing here today, I think, is a big part of launching this forward. The Florida legislator created Moffitt more than 27 years ago as a statute to serve as really a state resource for cancer care and research. Each year since then, the state has provided funding towards Moffitt's mission and help us to grow where we are today. You may not know this, but after 27 years, begun by Lee Moffitt's efforts, this is now the third largest cancer center in the country. It's the only National Cancer Institute comprehensive cancer center in the state of Florida. And it's the biggest, thank you. And Moffitt with USF is the, the largest trainer of medical oncologists and oncology providers in the state. We take all the institutions within Florida combined, and they're less than what we do here in Moffitt. Moffitt's partnership with the state also strengthened our state's economy, creating thousands of jobs at Moffitt and also levels in the community. And the expansion that we're beginning today will create more than 600 construction jobs and several hundred permanent jobs when it finishes just one year from now. So it's my privilege now to introduce you to the man who started all, be thank, you. thank you all, and thank you, Alan. You know, you hit, you hit the nail on the head when you said that um, today's celebration and the groundbreaking uh, that we, we're here to celebrate is a result of the efforts of a lot of people many people working very hard for many years together. The Cancer Center was created, you know, we started this, uh, Carol, how many years ago, 30 years ago, our quest to uh, get the Cancer Center built. And I would suggest uh, humbly that it may be one of the great legislative accomplishments of the past 30 years. It, uh, what is, uh, it's turned into uh, a, a fabulous institution. Um, Every year that we've gone to the legislature, the state has contributed what it could. So, you know, some years they've been able to give us more than others, but they've never failed to help us grow to become the most respected cancer center and research institute, not only in Florida, but one of the great cancer centers in the world. And I'm so proud of the accomplishments of uh, the doctors and staff and researchers at the Cancer Center for Enable Us to get to the point where we are today. We pass another milestone today in our development. Many of those who've worked so hard to get the funding that we've needed over the years are with us today. Uh, for example, the bill that passed, giving us the funding for this facility that we're gonna break ground on today, uh, was filed by Senator Rhonda Storms in the Senate, who could not be with us today, and Representative <coughs> Jamie Grant uh, in the House. Uh, I especially would like to represent, uh, to recognize and thank uh, Representative Grant. His tireless efforts leading the charge for us in the House helped us carry the day. And Jamie, I'd like to you to stand up and be recognized. <laughs> of course, there's a lot of people to thank. Uh, Speaker Weatherford, who played a giant role in our uh, success. Uh, Congresswoman Kathy Castor will be introduced later. Mayor Bob Buckhorn will be introduced later. And Dr. Armstrong, our Surgeon General, will also be introduced. But let me, I'm going to make a stab at recognizing all of the dignitaries that we have with us today. I know I'll probably mess it up. If I miss somebody, uh, blame Merritt and not me. <laughs> but I mean, this is really impressive. First of all, let me recognize Dr. Judy Jinchev, the president of the University of Central Florida. <laughs> From the local level, uh, we have Commissioner Ken Hagen, I believe, is with us today, Mary Mulhern, Yoli Capriz, 
uh, Commissioner uh, Councilman uh, Suarez. Are they here? If they are, please raise your hand. Thank you. Along with uh, Jamie Grant, of course, we have representatives from uh, the legislature, Dana Young, Ross Spano, Kathleen Peters, Jake Rayburn, Betty Reed, Janet Cruz, Neil Comby, and I believe that's it. Have I forgotten anybody from the delegation? Thank you all. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for being with us all. They were giants in the fight when we needed support during this last session of the legislature to get this cigarette tax bill passed. We have staff from the offices of uh, Chief Financial Officer Jeff Atwater, Representative Danish, Representative Rollerson, and Senator Jeff Brandis. And from the federal level, we have staffs from the offices of uh, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, Congressman Bill Young, Congressman Dennis Ross. We benefited from all of the public servants that have worked so hard for us over the years, and you honor us today with your presence. Thank you so very much. Alan? Thank you.